In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the three spices and cleanest text effects you guys can use in your Instagram Reels today in a very easy and simple process. And if you don't know who I am really quick, my name is Torsten Roscoe and I create digital assets for content creators just like you looking to create high quality videos just like this on the screen in just seconds. And I actually just dropped my brand new course that goes super in depth uh, that allows you to essentially get and take all your time freedom back while creating the content that you love. And I actually have in there my batch editing workflow that allows you to create 10 high quality reels in the span that it used to take me one. So more information will be about all that in the link description. Without further ado, let's create these text effects. So these are gonna be Creators, all the effects we're gonna be creating. This really cool shine effect that you're showing, that's showing you, right you now, can. and then this cool like depth kind of run that just adds like this kind of 3D sensation that really adds like a cinematic style. And I really think these are really great. How and then this last editing. one is just this viral text style. It's super duper easy. Each and every single one of these are simple as possible. And without further Creators, ado, you let's start creating this first one that has this really nice shine effect. So I actually took this effect from After Effects because originally it would take you hours and hours and hours to go into After Effects and take and create this effect. And then you would always have to, if you wanted to change it, you would have to go back and forth and you just waste so much time. And I said, Torsten, we need to figure out a way to easily make this into Premiere Pro because I know you guys don't want to waste countless hours just like I don't want to because I actually like my life and not sit at my desk all day. So I made it super duper easy. I transferred it from After Effects into Premiere Pro and now I have this shine effect right over here. And not only do I have the shine effect, but I developed exclusive animations for it. So like this, this animation you cannot do in Premiere Pro. Same with this one right here. And all you have to do to get all of these is simply by coming over to here, grabbing whatever one you want. So for instance, there's this really cool flicker one I absolutely love and we're actually possibly going to use it right now, but I just wanna show you what it looks like. So this is what the shine effects Creators, look like. It's this, this really cool like flicker Creators, and shine effect hate. at like the same time. I love this effect. There's also other ones like just the regular shine effect if you just want that, or there's a really cool fast whip like you just saw. It essentially, like it just did earlier, it just comes in Creators, just like so, just like that. And there's a lot more other ones, so they're definitely just a simple, easy way to make this. But we're just gonna be creating this shine text effect, so I'm just gonna drag it, drop it in here. I'm gonna resize it to what I'm saying. And then we are actually going to recreate this creator one. So I'm going to come into properties. I'm gonna click on shine. We're gonna change this to creator, C-R-E-A-T-O-R-S, creator. And then we are gonna change it to this font. I love these fonts. I collected 15 really high quality fonts that it's really the only ones I ever use and, and I show other people because it's just, you don't need any other fonts. So I collected all of these guys for you guys and basically we can just Hit bold, boom, we get this one. I'm gonna resize this and also scale it up because I like that. I'm gonna bring it down, kind of put it where it is, just like so. And now I want to recreate that green. So to get this green and really have it cool, you have to play around with the color. So I realized that if I just come over to the green and put it like right here, it's not going to have that kind of depth. You can see like the highlights of the actual shine effect shines a lot more like lighter and more vibrant than over like here. It kind of has this like really cool, I would say custom gradient that you can't find anywhere else, which I absolutely love. So the trick to using these to your maximum potential is to, for some reason, Premiere likes it when you change the color from super green to darker. So you can see right now it doesn't affect it, but if I keep going, it's really touchy. But once you get a hang of it, it looks absolutely amazing and you're gonna blow all your friends away. They're gonna be like, how the fuck did you do that? Okay, so right now we're almost there. It looks like I need to go a little bit down and I would say that's almost perfect. Maybe just that. Let's, let's up the glow just a little bit, just like so, and decrease the radius just like so. And I'm actually also going to add a drop shadow really quick because Premiere Pro loves when you add a drop shadow behind this. It helps the glow out a little bit. 
So just like so. Now, when we go and just increase the glow intensity and now mess with the color just once more, now we're kind of having it look exactly like it. Two. Boom, we got it. Dude, what the fuck? Dude, this is, what? So now when we play this, I can just like, yo, yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. So this is what it looks like from the beginning to the end. If you duplicate this and keep Creators, doing it. You don't hate editing, you yo. hate how- Dude, that's sick as fuck, dude. What the hell? So now we'll go on to this next effect where it is this super clean cinematic kind of add depth to your 3D. I really honestly love this effect. I'm gonna be using this in my videos upcoming. So the way we're gonna accomplish this is first, you have your captions right here. And the trick to this is making sure that all the captions really blow up behind your head so you can see them. Because obviously if they're too small and I got a big ass head, <laughs> it's going to just mess up and that's an, exactly not what we want. So I'm going to grab whatever the long ones. So for example, what I mean by the long ones is you can see this creator and also this you don't is a lot longer than these words over here like how. So obviously I'm gonna need to make this how and also this hate long editing and takes a lot larger than that. So for instance, these, I think just these two words, I'm going to both add, let's just say, whoa, that's a little too much. I want them to be like 390, like that. So now they're gonna, oop, that one's actually a little too big. So let's just decrease the size just like so. Now it's gonna fit perfectly behind my head. And now we will, I'm liking the editing, but for, we can say like the hate editing, let's up this a little bit more, just like so. Now it's gonna look pretty good behind my head, I'm thinking. These actually we will up even more, just like so, like even go crazier. Maybe can't even like, okay, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I would say that's really good. So the next step you wanna do is Highlight all of them, nest them. I have my keybind at six. You'll learn all my keybinds in that course I said earlier and how I set up all of this, just to FYI. <laughs> I just hit okay and now boom, we have the nest, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now, here is where like the fun part comes in. I'm gonna put this up here just because that's exactly where we want the captions to be. I'm going to add my blur called cinematic blur foreground blur effects i have this i'll show you guys how i made it so i basically went into lumentary color so if you guys grab lumentary color come into here make sure you're on your text and then just mess around with the basic corrections you can see actually i'm grabbing it these are all my settings for it i'm going to decrease the gaussian blur also add that just so then we can actually see it but it also is not like like this but it's not also like this so like just a little hint of touch. And then I also like to decrease the exposure just a little bit, not so super bright, but it's also like not too dull. It's like perfect in the middle, I would say. And boom, now we only have one more step, which is super duper easy. And all we have to do is mask out my, or actually it's me, so. <laughs> I duplicate this, put it above your text layer. So now there's nothing, that's totally fine. I like to use a, plugin called Keeper. So if I search up K-E-Y, -E it's called Keeper right here. All I have to do is just drag and drop it on my top one and boom. Now I have all the ones behind me, just like I'm talking right now. It gets at that, that effect, it sells it really fast. It sells it well and it, I'm done in like seconds. I'll leave the Keeper down in the link in the description if you guys wanna grab that plugin. I use it each and every single day. It's really a no brainer. But sadly, it's only used for Mac users, which is a very big bummer, but hey, maybe in the future, I'll hook you guys up by creating my own. You never know, man, you never know. And the last and final effect I like to do is this really cool kind of negative difference effect. And all of these, I'll show you how I do all of these effects super duper quickly. Now, the way I do these is super simple. You can just highlight or let's just go to this first one and all you have to go is go into opacity and change this to difference. Now you get that exact same effect and then you can just copy and paste this all to all the other ones just like so. And now we have that effect and I want to spice it up just a little bit. So I'm gonna use my presets that you guys can find in my captions FX pack. 
and you get all these, but I honestly just recommend getting the all bundle because not only will you get my course that I was talking about earlier, but you get every single one of my presets that I use on a daily that save me hours and hours and hours. And I actually love editing again because I'm not sitting at my desk constantly editing and taking hours and hours and hours. So I'm just gonna like, let's just do this. I want, let's just say like, fuck it. Put these on up. I'm gonna put this one on down on long, make these like four appear right, sure. Make these top two appear right, plus like a cool, I would say mm, flicker, flicker in. Actually, that I don't think that'll look really great because these are really small. So let's add all, actually all these, a flicker in, plus an appear up. So now in just seconds, all those effects will be done Traders, just like you don't now. hate editing you hate how long editing takes yo dude, what <laughs> what the fuck you that's don't hate sick editing, dude you that's hate so how easy long what the takes. hell and then this is Traders, what it looks like all together editing, if you guys you have like some kind of creativity takes. like oh dude if i ran that if i ran the, Traders, this hook yo my shit would editing. go crazy and then you add some like little zooms you guys also get all my zooms Traders, and then like boom dude this like the little zoom yo dude that's a fire ass hook you can find all of what i just talked about in the link in the description and if you guys want to learn more about video editing make sure to go click this video right over here i'll be dropping all the secret sauce and stay relentless peace out